Have you ever felt so anxious the day before your big day, be it attending an event, exams, or even an interview that it kept you awake for the whole night? That's a feeling that we call anxiety. But let's imagine if you were to experience this feeling 24-7 for a prolonged period of time, how would you feel? Well, today we are going to talk about anxiety disorder and without further ado, let's start with some basic understanding on what anxiety disorder is all about. Anxiety disorder is a mental disorder that is characterized by the extreme feelings of fears and anxiety. So, people with anxiety disorder would normally feel overwhelming tensions, apprehensions, and even fear. Because of that, they would take extreme actions to avoid the sources of anxiety. For example, people who are afraid of taking flight would at all costs avoid taking an airplane to reach their destinations. Instead, they will use other means of transportation like buses or even cars. To better understand what anxiety disorder is all about, we first have to understand the three basic elements of anxiety disorder. The first one is anxiety itself, second is fear, and the third one is panic. However, in reality, most of the time, people often use these three words interchangeably to describe their feelings whenever they are in a very stressful situation. But this three word actually has their own very distinctive characteristics. Anxiety is known as a future-oriented feeling. That means your anxiousness is actually induced by your anticipation that something bad is about to happen in the future. On the other hand, fear is known as an immediate reaction that your body has towards a dangerous situation that is characterized by either a fight or flight reactions. Panic is known as extreme feelings of fear that is accompanied by physical symptoms such as shortness of breath and chest pain. Hence, when we talk about anxiety disorder, we don't only just talk about people with extreme level of anxiety, but we also talk about people who are experiencing an extreme level of fear or in other words, panic. As I mentioned, anxiety disorder has three different elements which are anxiety, fear and also panic. So, we have different types of anxiety disorders such as generalized anxiety disorder or in short GAD which is used to diagnose someone with an excessive worry of many things in life. Other than that, we also have panic disorder which is used to describe someone with an excessive amount of fear in their daily life. We also have another anxiety disorder which is known as post-traumatic stress disorder or in short PTSD which is a fear of experiencing a traumatic event again. Of course, there are many other more types of disorders such as specific disorder, social anxiety disorder, obsessive compulsory disorder that fall under the category of anxiety disorder. And each of these disorders actually have their very own distinctive characteristic. However, people who suffer from all this disorder would normally display a few common symptoms such as increase in heart rate, trembling, sweating, and also feeling nervous. Every mental disorder, it is very difficult to pinpoint its exact causes. Instead, psychologists have worked around the clock to study from different perspectives such as biological, psychological, and social point of view. Studies have found that anxiety disorder runs in a gene. In other words, if a family member would develop anxiety disorder, the chances of you developing it is higher too. Besides that, psychologists also found that parenting upbringing plays an important role in the development of anxiety disorder. If a child is brought up in a predictable environment whereby all his or her needs are fulfilled by their parents, they are less likely to develop anxiety disorder. This is because the children develop a sense of controllability over their surrounding that leads to lesser anxiety. Last but not least, one of the most common causes of anxiety disorder is no other than stress from work, school or even relationship. However, we can't really say any of this is the exact or major causes of anxiety disorder because there are many other factors to take into consideration before we can diagnose a person with anxiety disorder. Since anxiety disorder is so prevalent, is there any way to treat this problem? The answer is yes. The most common treatment for anxiety disorder is known as cognitive behavioral therapy or in short CBT. This therapy has been found to be very effective in treating multiple mental disorder including anxiety disorder. The treatment mainly focuses on changing the thinking pattern of the patient. For example, patients with social anxiety disorder, instead of thinking people in the party would judge them, they would change the narrative in their mind into thinking people in the party are not giving him or her attention at all. With this, they are developing the coping skill that they could use to face any adversity that will come to them in the future. In conclusion, anxiety disorder has three different important elements which are anxiety, 
fear and also panic. So there are many different types of disorder that park under the umbrella of anxiety disorder such as GAD, panic disorder, PTSD and many more. Moreover, it is very difficult to pinpoint the exact causes of anxiety disorder because it might be due to gene, parenting upbringing and also day-to-day -day stress. That is one very effective treatment which is known as CBT. Thank you so much for watching till this far and if you are interested in psychology and mental health related content, do stay tuned because there are more and more exciting content coming up your way. But before that, remember to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe and share my channel to people around you and I will see you guys in my next video.